the universe is giving you a teaching and a learning moment. And as you move through such a very transitional period, you will experience this internally because in order for things to change around you, in order for you to access your highest timeline, the biggest change needs to come from within. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can elevate your consciousness as you move through those layers of letting go of those things, climbing that mountain to your destiny. And why now is the perfect time to do this because it has been a big year of choices. And you may have heard this before on this channel or elsewhere, but the decisions that you make moving forward will determine your timeline because this is an entirely internal process and you will select this based on your frequency. And this is what the universe and what your higher self is showing you because it knows that it's the perfect time for you to expand and evolve. And look how far you've come, you know? It's almost like the universe or your higher self is saying to you, come on, don't give up now. There is so much potential for you. Don't get stuck now. Look how far you've come. And it's no coincidence that you've been experiencing all of this and the fact that you're in body now. It's a big time and it requires you to stand in your power for your soul's journey. And you've made it this far. So it's just a matter of allowing it to all unfold for you because it's all there. It's all waiting for you. So it's really important for you to choose consciously and wisely as this will set you up for 2024 because these energies will start to ease off as you near the end of this year and in particular next year. Now, elevating your consciousness, even the slightest, will give you that clarity that you need. It's like having a bird's eye perspective on whatever is going on. So number one is to take a breath, a moment before you react. Now, it might seem simple enough, but it can be very challenging because it only takes a second before you find yourself in a very high reactive situation. But by doing this, you'll be able to make choices and decisions that align with who you want to be, what you want to create, how you want to show up and how you want to feel. And that's a really important thing because it's those elevated emotions that will create the biggest change. By taking a breath, you are able to break away from those old habits that were perhaps keeping you stuck in that familiar reality and living on autopilot. And some of this is to do with those lower chakra activities. And the more you work on bringing those into balance, the more you're able to connect with your heart and you're able to break away from those known patterns that are perhaps keeping you stuck and that no longer serve you. And the more you connect with your heart, the more you bring your awareness to the present moment moment of now and this is how you then are able to create a bigger change and to create that shift. When you take a moment, you also give your body, your nervous system, the permission to slow things down. And especially for you, as you become conscious of what's going on internally in your mind, because it's all about vibration, right? And if the opportunity allows, you can then extend this by going within and reflecting. Because by bringing your awareness to the present moment of now, you can choose something different as this will influence your emotional state and the frequency you are emitting and creating reality from. For example, if you're going through a difficult relationship dynamic, and this could be a parent, a sibling or a partner, then you use this opportunity to become aware of what your go-to thoughts are or your reactions. You know, are they serving you or them? Or perhaps there's something that you need to let go of or bring something more of into that relationship. But this could be boundaries. This could be, you know, being honest, you know, about what it is that you want, you know, what it is that you perhaps need to change. And I want you to know that this could be applied to every aspect of your life because it will determine how you show up as a vibrational being. Number two, you can also elevate your consciousness by dropping into your heart. Now here, I'm going to share with you ways that you can do that. But if you want to know more about the mind-heart connection and how this relates with the chakras, and in particular the 5D shift, then you can watch this video here, but I'll also link it down below as well. So the first step to dropping into your heart is to pause and drop. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you so it's a little bit easier to understand rather than me just telling you what to do. So if you can just give me a minute. Okay. As you stop, slowing down the momentum of whatever is going on, take a breath and just visualize and imagine all that dense energy coming to a standstill. And then you feel this energy drop into your center. That energy coming out of your mind and just dropping into your heart. 
You can, if you wish, visualize it as green energy representing the heart chakra. It's almost like a sinking feeling. And then from there, reach for a good feeling thought, something simple that feels good to you. And you may notice yourself smile as you do. As you strengthen that connection, feeling love and light. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Then from there, move forward from that new space of energy of love and light and find something small and simple to put your focus and attention on. It doesn't have to be something so big straight away. You know your vision is still there, but it's a gradual process. So something small and simple that will take you from neutrality to acceptance, to peace and calm, and then to joy and so on, because it's all about frequency and vibration, right? And it's these little things that will really help you, you know, as you're climbing that mountain, you know, navigating your way through the obstacles, that stuck energy, the chaos, you know, as you're there trying to navigate all of that, trying to get to your destiny. And it's a bit similar to what I mentioned in my last video when I had that dark night of the soul moment. Those little things of like gratitude and, you know, meditation really helped me out through that difficult situation. And I want you to know that the heart acts as a bridge between the earthly matters and the high realms of conscious thinking. It's a bridge between the lower chakras and the upper chakras. And it's of a vibration and it's of a high vibration of love and connection. So the second step after you've done the pause and the drop is to bring your awareness to your heart and ask your heart what it wants, what it needs and what it feels as this is a really good practice of bringing those suppressed emotions up to the surface, you know, allowing your body to release and cleanse those emotions that were perhaps suppressed and remained, you know, and dormant. And during that time, you know, give yourself the time to journal because if you've never done this before, it's a really good practice, even if it's a notebook or whatever it is, you know, it could be a piece of paper because sometimes it's really good to, you know, write down whatever is being brought to your awareness, whatever's coming up to the surface to really write it down. And it truly is a very cathartic feeling. And you can do this as well, you know, if the time allows, give yourself the, the permission for that self-care to do this in a quiet place. You know, you might want to, you know, to be you know, away from all the noise and the distractions. And you might want to put some soft music on, some meditative music. And then, when you've allowed yourself to do that, then I want you to become aware of, you know, then ask yourself who you are outside of everything that you are doing. So really take the time to, you know, figure out who you are. And it's not a straightforward journey, but it's about digging into those layers of your identity and then uncovering a path towards a meaningful and a purpose-driven life. How you think, feel and act, you know, in every aspect of your life reflects who you are now. And during these heightened times especially, your higher self or the universe will bring to your awareness and to the surface in unexpected ways things that are hidden in your subconscious mind that need to be cleansed and released. It's like going through a purification process. In this process, you can decide what you want to keep and what you want to change. When you have that clarity and a clear idea of who you are and your values, you can make better decisions and create the life that you want. And if you're watching this video, know that the universe, your higher self is supporting you. It's been showing you things that need to be cleansed from your energy field. And when you do that, you open up your heart center. You let the universe know that you are ready for that new chapter to enter your life. And then from there, you move forward, believing, knowing and being, embodying the energy of your new self, of the reality that you want to create. Number three, to be an observer, then a reactor. So here it's about observing your thought forms, you know, and allowing them to move through your body and becoming aware of whether they serve your higher purpose or not. And if not, then, you know, perhaps you need to change your internal dialogue, your habits associated with those thoughts or your limited beliefs. And then it's about becoming aware of your reactions. You know, are you getting caught up in other people's energy? Because sometimes it's so easy when, you know, you meet people on the street or people enter your house. And, you know, especially if they're, you know, the type of person who constantly watches the news and then they come to your house in your energy, talking about it, bringing that negative 
negative energy and then their beliefs, their thought forms formed out of that negative narrative to you. So in those moments, it's okay to say, you know what, let's just talk about something else or that might be true for you, but it doesn't have to be my truth. And by doing so, you then don't have to bring that energy into your energy field. You know, it's okay for you to step into your power, to stand in your power and say, no, you know, let's just talk about something else and not or just not engage with it. If, you know, the opportunity presents and it allows you to do that. It's also about moving away from distractions. And this could be endlessly scrolling on social media. You know, that negative narrative that's out there. You know, whatever it is. But you've got to make a choice and decide whether it serves you or whether it doesn't serve you. And to see how it makes you think, feel and act. Because it might bring something, you know, out of you that you perhaps don't like. And that's an indication that, you know, something needs to change. So you have a choice to make and you can choose which polarity you want to go towards, either fear or confidence, either towards love or hate. So here you get to choose the energy that you wish to experience because there is an energy shift happening. The new earth energy is emerging. There's a conscious, you know, a new conscious energy emerging. So you know, this is a perfect opportunity for you to stand in your power as the old paradigm collapses. Number four, grounding, to integrate everything that you have been through. And if you're feeling chaotic or struggling to connect with your intuition, then this is a sign that your energy needs tending to. And grounding will help you with that. And often everything that you desire to know can be found in the stillness and the energy of Mother Gaia. And all you have to do is pay it a visit. For example, the other day, I was like just really stuck in my head and I was just feeling low, you know, low energy and all that kind of stuff. And I had to run some errands. And the minute I stepped outside of my house, I suddenly became aware of this like, just this stillness in the air. And for a moment I stood there and I leaned into that energy. And as I did, you know, it literally brought this sense of calmness in my body and my nervous system. So grounding, you know, however you do it, whatever suits you best, is a perfect way to elevate your consciousness, even if it's for a few moments. But the longer you stay in that moment, you know, you savour it, this is how you then build that good momentum. It's a great way to disconnect yourself from the outside world and elevate your consciousness. Nature gives you a natural dopamine boost and this powerful effect can elevate your mood, boost your energy and brighten your perspective. Grounding is about balancing out that spiritual and physical energy in you. And you know, you can do this by, you know, just, you know, taking a walk in the park or walking barefoot on the grass or lying on the grass or just, you know, being there in the presence of nature of mother Gaia or you know you can sit next to a tree as well if you like but just by doing that it can have a powerful effect on your whole body as a system to be grounded it gives your energy a point of steadiness and you will feel clear you'll feel centered grounded and focused so it's all about you know being then doing so it's about getting out of your mind and just dropping into your body where you can where you can then observe whatever is going on and you know any form of exercise or just moving your body is also a great way to ground yourself as this will allow you to bring your awareness to your body and see whatever is going on and you know there's always visual meditation which you know is perfect for this as well you know just for grinding your energy and then from when you open up your eyes to then move forward with that new energy and with those new feelings with you and you know it doesn't have to be complicated you don't have to overthink this process it, it could be anything from 15 you know from 5 to 15 or to 20 minutes a day you know, and you can start, you know, with something simple, something small, you know, like just opening up the window and just feeling that fresh air. And, you know, and see how that feels in that moment. You know, does it bring you that calmness and that clarity that you need to then move forward? Your higher self is showing you the path to your destiny. And as you are moving through these energies, especially allow yourself to really climb that mountain to your destiny, redirecting your natural urges, your habits and your patterns, because there is a lesson in all of this for you. It comes down to the choices and the decision that you make that feel right and good for you. It's not about getting stuck here. It's about moving through this learning experience and coming out the other end 
following your star as you navigate through these hurdles and obstacles. So, you know, utilize what I've shared with you here today to elevate your consciousness. Take what resonates with you. And I truly hope that what I've shared with you today will help you elevate your consciousness as you move through this. And I hope you found value in today's video. Please like and subscribe as it helps me and my channel to expand and grow. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste.